Hi guys, welcome back to the Acne Channel. It's your girl Liz, aka Pretty Progress 23. Today's video is all about acne and relationships. The other day, well, yesterday night, I was drinking wine with my girlfriend and we we're watching this movie called Nackley Ever After. And it pretty much focuses on this beautiful protagonist who struggles with her self image. And she has naturally curly hair, but she hated it so much. She kept straightening it. She would wake up early in the morning just to put on her, put on her makeup and then wake up next to her boyfriend just to appear perfect. And it's a comedy and it kind of seems dramatic, but I have had that experience myself. And as superficial as it sounds, I used to sleep with makeup because I was so worried about what my boyfriend thought about my skin. It was a time where I was really, really self-conscious. My acne was getting worse and worse and sleeping in makeup just made it worse as well. And so I wanted to chat about how they correlate with each other and how you can separate the two and not let your acne affect your relationship. Whether it be with your friends or your boyfriend or with at school, whether it be you know at work with your colleagues, like the dynamic between between the two can be really hard to separate but know that your skin does not define you i think for the longest time i was living in a society where i just thought my image is everything my image is what makes me me my image is what makes people like me and it's completely false i'm going to tell you guys this now your appearance only does so much let's talk about for example a relationship with somebody that they will be attracted to how you look. Let's say you're wearing makeup on, you did your hair, and you have this spark, you have this connection. And now you're worried that if I take off my makeup, he's gonna run away, she's gonna run away. But then you gotta ask yourself, do you really wanna be in a relationship just based on appearance? I mean, you're gonna grow old and you're gonna have wrinkles anyway. Like beauty is only temporary. Do you really wanna base your relationship on something so fragile? Like relationship is just so much more than how you look. And I know it's really fearful to go makeup free to really show who you are. But that's when you that's when you meet real people who appreciate you for you. And it took me so long. Like when I was in my relationship for well, three and a half to four year relationship with my ex-boyfriend. I had clear skin when I met him and then I started forming cystic acne on my cheeks and it got to the point where it was severe and it looked like this. It was throbbing, painful, red, sore and I was just so defeated. I felt horrible about myself. I cancelled events and he wanted me to watch his soccer game and I told him, I'm so sorry but my stomach feels really bad today, like I'm not feeling really well. And that was just an excuse because I didn't want to apply makeup on top of my skin for one. And two, I already knew that even if I applied makeup, you can still see the bumps. And I hated myself for that because I didn't have enough courage. And it was a vicious cycle, canceling events, putting on makeup, feeling horrible. And then after I put makeup on, I go home and then I have to take off my makeup and then it reveals my nasty skin. And that was my mentality. And it was just so toxic. And I, because I started off with clear skin and I had such a bubbly personality. If you guys know me and follow me on Instagram, I'm super Super energetic like I I love life but that time of my life I allowed acne to strip myself from my human qualities where I was just locked in my shell and there was no longer that real love in the relationship because I was self-conscious so my insecurities affected our relationship and then one day I just sat him down and I was like I am struggling with my self-image. I have severe acne and I'm trying my best to heal it. And it makes me feel so ugly and I'm literally there crying. And he's like, it's okay. Like, you know, we're, we're gonna get through this together. It doesn't, I, I'm, I don't, I'm not with you because of your, your, your skin. I'm not with you because of how you look. I'm with you because you have compassion. You have energy for life and it makes me a better person. And it just gave me so much reassurance. And so the first step in kind of getting over these insecurities is communication. So when you communicate with your other half, when you pour out your emotions, not only do you verbally hear yourself and it allows you to understand yourself better, it also allows your partner to understand what you're going through. Because if you're hiding in pain and you're suffering in silence, it's just gonna make everything worse. So a level of understanding is my number one tip, communication. Get it out there have an open dialogue and, and that will make a whole lot of a difference. He or she's gonna give you reassurance. You're gonna fully understand yourself and take weight off your shoulders. Cause in a relationship, the person who you're with is meant to support you. You're not meant to burden the pain yourself. 
The next step that I would say is have loud affirmations. You can't just rely on your partner to give you that reassurance. And yes, it's important for them to tell you that you're beautiful beyond your skin. And it's important for them to tell you that, to remind you of your qualities. But at the same time, you need to hear it yourself through your own words. It's crazy because our mind is so controlling that sometimes when we wallow in these negative thoughts, it controls us and it makes us believe on what our mind thinks. Sometimes your mind says, oh, you look really gross or, you know, why do I have disgusting skin and other people have clear skin? And then you start to blame yourself. So the only thing you're hearing is your mind going crazy. You have to tell yourself, I am beautiful, I am strong, I am intelligent, I am funny. It doesn't have to just be a three-worded phrase. Really think about your own qualities. I might sound egotistical here, but I literally light up a room when I'm myself. I think I do. <laughs> Sometimes there are days where I'm just like, I have a really big smile and it's on a rainy day and I'm in the elevator and I just say hi to people and that makes people feel welcomed. And so, I give myself credit for that. I know I'm a bubbly person and I can and I can change the mood of a room. That's one of the qualities that I love about myself. And so I focus on that rather than my acne because th there was this moment in my life where I was like, stuff it, I'm, I don't care about what people think about my skin. Yeah, I have pimples here. But there was this guy in my university class and he was across the room and we had to do partner work. And I was like, I don't care if he stares at my skin. And I just spoke to him, I focused on the conversation, I was smiling, I listened to what he had to say and he appreciated me just hearing what he had to say about this topic and about his you know, side business as a uni student. And it was just great. Like people want people to be present. It's not about your skin. Once you learn that, you're gonna find liberty. So make sure you have loud affirmations on who you are as a person and focus on those qualities. Okay, you're probably wondering, how does loud affirmations have to do with relationships? Well, once you build that confidence within yourself, you will have more confidence within the relationship. You wouldn't need that reassurance. You would focus on the things that matter most. You will focus on how the, the quality time that you have with this partner instead of letting your mind you know, spiral into these negative thoughts. So it makes a world of a difference. Having confidence in yourself will build the quality of your relationship. The next one is having patience. Know that your skin is gonna get better. And so once you have faith that your skin's gonna get better, you will focus on other parts of your life. And so you redirect that energy to something that means a lot more. And that's kind of like all the other steps as well. Like after communicating that the air is clear, having loud affirmations to build confidence in yourself. And once you have that confidence and you have that patience, you can redirect it towards other parts of your relationship that will make it better. And there is a my three steps and I will always always tell myself whenever I feel insecure I ask myself do I want to be with somebody superficial like what happens if I lose a leg in a car accident is he gonna still love me or is he just with me because of my appearance and that just really made me confident and this isn't just like limited to your partner like with your boyfriend because I think because I was insecure with myself I canceled on my social events with my friends and I didn't want to hang out with them. And so I detached myself from my friendships with them and they felt like I was pulling away. They didn't understand why. And then I went through the same process with them. I would, t I would tell them my honest struggles. I would tell them how sad I was because of my skin. I'll communicate with them and the right friends will support you. I would, again, go through the loud affirmations, focus on the quality conversations that I had with my friends and having patience. So those are my three main steps and you'll see your life change. So I hope this video helps you know that you are so much more than, than what you see in the mirror. The mirror doesn't show you what's happening on the inside. It's all about the interactions you have with people, the conversations that you have with strangers, the quality of time that you have with your, your partner. So I just want to remind you of your beauty and beyond your outward appearance and I hope you find strength, I hope your confidence continues to thrive and I hope you guys have a lovely day. Big kisses. Mwah.